Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. We're playing UED AIP. It's a modded campaign for StarCraft Remaster. We're playing the Rebel Yell modified campaign on Mission 2. Backwater Station. We can skip the briefing. We've all seen it before. Glad to see you, boys. Time to kick some serious butt. You said it, buddy. So there is auto rally, so let's go ahead and set that. That's always nice. Uh, my first inclination is to come up here with Rainer and kills any burrowed zerglings. I like how fast he attacks. Very good against those small targets. Pretty bad against larger targets. Say honestly, I think he, he's gonna be fine there. So Marines are much cheaper, but they attack slower and do slightly less damage. So as you can see, they do five damage instead of six. And then they attack a little bit slower. But they have the same survivability, but the the survivability will appear even worse than normal because, again, they can't really defend themselves nearly as effective. Now let's just grab this base straight away. Okay, come on down here. Oh, hello. I see some units that are coming from this direction. So maybe we're gonna like keep some marines sort of hanging out up here. I'm gonna hotkey all my barracks. And I'm going to start getting more SCVs and I'm gonna grab my engineering bay. Bio regen aura for barracks, sounds pretty neat. I'm gonna grab U-238 shells though. And we're just gonna wait until we get some more SCVs, and I guess these guys can just sort of stay up here, just in case. I guess we could sort of check over in this direction to see what's down here. That seems prudent first. Where's Jim? I guess why don't we bring Jim down here, unload these fire bats and bring them, and maybe we can kind of poke up in this direction and see what we can do. Again, really cheap marines means we might as well be building them as time goes. Just want to make sure I have enough money to start plus one as soon as possible. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit of gas here. We started with a refinery. Do you start with a refinery in the normal version of this game? Of this mission? I don't actually know. Okay, that's, that's a decent amount of zerglings. Come on down, come on down. Are fire bets changed at all? I honestly don't know what their normal stats are. So I guess Hydralisks are a lot stronger in this version of the game as well. Just like normal normal Hydras are considered pretty darn good, so we have to be careful. We probably want to set up some extra bunkers here. Oh, I can't make more bunkers. Gotcha. Well, let's go ahead and load this bad boy up. Our SCVs, I believe, will auto-repair the bunkers if we put them close to them. So let's check. No, they do not. That might be something I have to... There's like a different file that I might have to put in place for that to work. I'm not 100% sure. If there are enemies coming from down here, I'd really like to take care of that. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's keep inching. I'll bring an SCV to repair Jim. That, I'm going to guess, is where they're coming from. Nothing there. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go. We're also getting attacked at home. This is unfortunate because we're on the low ground. A hundred, yeah, a hundred HP on the Hydras is, is pretty spooky. Uh, okay, I think that probably means there is an infested Terran coming our way. If I had to guess. Okay. So infested Terrans in UBD AIP, they explode on death and do the damage, no matter what, which really sucks. <laughs> Alright, well we did take care of this, but we have units that are hitting us pretty hard from this direction, so let's just go ahead and rebuild more units here constantly. What we can do is get that bio aura.
That's, again, those are just going to kill our bunkers straight up. They have more survivability. They do more damage. They explode on death. It's bad news. We did take the pressure off of ourselves by taking care of this down here. Let's get some fire bats. They can absorb the heat from infested Terrans on their way to us. As you can see, pretty consistent attacks that are happening nonstop. Also, our tier 1 unit is a lot a lot worse, specifically our marines. Okay, we did get rid of this uh, of this base though, for the most part. The hydras are definitely scarier. That is for certain. Let's get on up here. Looks like we lost some stuff to infested Terrans. Infested Terrans are just some BS. We're going to lose a lot of stuff to them over the course of this campaign, and they'll probably force some reloads. But I would I would argue they're almost like a meme to a degree for this project. Like, they're used really effectively to put pressure on the player in certain ways, and in other cases, they're just straight-up BS. There's just nothing that you can do about it, and they'll just wipe out absurd amounts of supply. But, uh, you know, there's really nothing we could do about that, so we'll just, uh, I guess, take our licks and... Don't you dare. We'll take our licks and, and, you know, I guess lose our heroes a couple times to infested Terrans and we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. So just keep making some units here or there. We're going to get ready to push out once this is done. Uh, Stim feels a lot better to me considering our Marines are that much worse. I feel incentivized to use Stim. Getting it rid of this base feels nice, because now we don't have to worry about any attacks coming from the right. We probably would have wanted to attack Orange uh, in the upper right much earlier to avoid having to do... Um, having to worry about defending ourselves as aggressively, I suppose. That was another way we could have approached it. But I saw some enemies come from that ramp, and I was like, we gotta go look immediately. It's a small map, it's easy to scout. So even if we focus fire infested Terrans, their speed is just insane in StarCraft 1. So that's why it's like, you're going to lose stuff to infested Terrans. Uh, it's very difficult not to. You can Again, you could try to focus fire them, but I really don't expect that's going to make a huge difference. Okay, let's get one more... One more depot. This is just about done, so let's start moving out here. Okay, I'm going to be careful not getting too close to that edge. Well, that sunken may or may not actually be able to hit us. I'm not sure. Anything down here? Nope. Okay, and then we just sort of rally over here. It's going to be easier to hold on to this, uh, this ramp. I haven't heard another infested Terran spawn recently. I'm not sure. Again, I think this is the normal amount of damage for the fire bats. They they usually start with base one armor. Uh, is 55 HP normal for them? It seems like it. So I don't know if the fire bats have been changed at all. But the marines definitely have. But they're they're cheaper. We can we can just slam out marines really fast. Okay. As you can see, like it, it, they're, we were essentially focus firing it, but they're tanky enough and they're fast enough that there's literally they're just there. I feel like to almost be an equalizer to. Uh, I don't want to say waste your time, but in a way, like they they eat up so much of your supply that to an extent they're going to inevitably end up wasting some of your time. Move these guys in, move them in. Let's move on in and take care of these colonies. I think Stim Marine's still pretty good. I think if you're if you're like me, you probably didn't use Stim Pack on your Marines. Um, when you were younger, you didn't want to like use your precious health on your Marines, but we have a way to get it back by putting them near the barracks. But also, they're just worse. Ah, there we go. We, got, we took care of that one. You do have to be very, very diligent. Focus firing them with vultures specifically. You might be able to take them out before they get on top of you. But in terms of our marines, they attack too slow. So it's actually quite difficult to take them out. 
But if, if it's like they're coming at you and there's other enemies around them, it's going to be very, very hard, I think, to take care of them before they get right on top of you. Again, they don't exist just to be a meme, but I do think that for the people that have played a lot of UED AIP, they've, they likely view them as such. <laughs> it's just part of the project. When you see them, you have to be very careful. And uh, even if you are very careful, odds are you're still going to lose a lot of, uh, a lot of supply to them. That's why I, I would I would name them as, as sort of the great equalizer, in a way. There we go. We destroyed a vital Confederate outpost. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Raymond, if I destroy him a vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest throw down your weapons and come peace with them. Now you're out of your mind. If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time and get there. Now I ask you guys the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down your weapons. Yes, you would be a confederate if you weren't a complete atheist. Would you look at that? You had NORAD 2 come in there with the wraiths. That's pretty neat. So I, I want to reiterate the, the infested Terrans. It's I'm not just like begrudgingly saying like, well, I guess they have to be here. I actually it's good because it adds something in that the player can't just make a, a defense that they can set up and then just look away from. There's always going to be something that you have to sort of be on your toes about that could totally wreck your frontline defenses. So it does force you to pay attention on more fronts else. Uh, you know, it only takes one infested Terran to destroy two bunkers, and then suddenly you're back to square one. And I think that is a good thing, but I do think that it will also encourage some reloading, because sometimes just the sheer amount of supply that you can lose to a single infested Terran is... is um, it would set you back far enough that it's almost just not worth trying to, to claw your way back out. You might as well just restart. I think those times will be few and far between, and if anything, it's just going to be funny when we lose a bunch of stuff to them. But it really depends on the situation. Anyway, we'll be continuing next time with the supposed holdout mission, and I do have little snippets of each mission's design idea, like it's their core tenets. Like for mission two, it was small scale macro with infested Terran pressure and fire bats, introduces vanilla hydras, minor bank dependent on VT1. Uh, I guess because we destroyed the hatchery instead of building 15 marines last time, it, it must have made the AI slightly easier in some way. I don't know to what effect. But for mission three, it looks like there's an opportunity to win by moving out and uh, destroying stuff, which is cool. All right, well, I'll see you then for it. Bye-bye.